embarrassed if it's an embarrassing sound. We're not going there. And we'll all be comfortable and relaxed. Right, so we're almost as many people as have booked. We're almost there. I think we need to get going. I think some people will join us as we go along. And so thank you all for joining me. And my husband Mark should be up there too because he's joining us on the detox program. Where are you, Mark? <laughs> you should be here. So it's going to be myself. Gotcha. Oh, there you are. There he is. Okay. <laughs> We've been married for 43 years now. And this is the man who helped open the first Kentucky Fried Chicken in this country in the 1970s. And now he's um, on a radical, well, not radical, but on a whole food, plant-based diet and has been for the last 30 years. And the great thing about living the way we have is we haven't had a doctor's bill now for over 30 years due to ill health. Um, even amongst my kids, it's you know, a dog bite or a twisted uh, torn ligament or something like that. So it's great to be healthy. That's what I can tell you. It's a great feeling. Your mind is clear all the time. You sleep well. Your bowels work properly. And you have energy like... I have more energy than people half my age. And honestly, um, Mark and I can outwork anybody. We just... We just have energy. It's absolutely amazing because when you eat a natural diet, then you're taking in a lot more oxygen and you're burning energy more efficiently. Everything just works better and it's a great place to be. So joining us for a detox, you might think, well, why a detox? Why are you needing a detox? Mark and I like to do a detox program, usually a change of seasons. A great time is to start in the Southern Hemisphere is us going into spring, but we always do it in autumn and spring and sometimes even in winter and summer. So in an average year, we might do a four, two to four detox programs. Um, this year going into winter, I did a seven day fast and that was great. I was help, helping supervise a fast at Huachlan Hadra outside Pretoria. So I joined him for the fast as well. He managed to do 15 days. I had to leave after seven days and he carried on. And it's a great way to heal your body and to, to kind of reset your health. But it's not easy for everybody to fast. And not everybody can just get up and go to the hydro and fast. Fasting at home is tough because people around you are eating. Smells are coming from places. Some days you just feel like you don't want people near you. You don't like loud noises. You wish people would switch the TV off. So if you're at a place like the hydro where there's buffalo grazing on the grass and you can just lie under the trees and jump into the hot, you can go from the steam bath to the sauna to the ice cold pool out into the big pool and you've got all these wonderful opportunities in that environment. It's not possible for most people to do that. It could be financial, it could be time-wise, but I know if you go to the hydro um, for a week, it's probably going to cost you 12 or 15,000 rand <clears throat> and you get nothing to eat there. You're just getting water. If you're eating, it's going to cost a bit more. And so doing the detox is the next best thing to do. And the detox really helps to reset your health. And it's a great thing to do if you've got aches and pains in your body, you're, you feel that you're not sleeping properly, or di especially digestion. If your digestive system's not working optimally, if you're trying to move some weight and you haven't been able to budge this weight for a while, if you're wanting to just get rid of body odor because your lymphatic system gets kick, kick, kicks in and starts to work more efficiently. Um, and so the whole detox program is a design to allow your body to repair itself as efficiently as possible without doing a full on fast. Now, some, most of you have got the program when you, when you signed up on the higher living site, which, uh, Laura very kindly has let us use her Cartley program because it's the best program to, to do programs like this. It's a new, newish program compared to what we use. Our program is not as efficient as this one. So you'll hear, I may ask Laura a question or she may just start to chat or, you know, whatever. I don't even know who Laura is. She's just um, very good with technical stuff. Her full-time job is actually doing Zoom training with people around the world. <clears throat> so she's a corporate training person. And so to her, this whole Zoom thing is very comfortable and she can share screens and show you things. And I'm learning as I go along. It's all very exciting to be able to talk to you like this because in the old days we'd have to book a venue pay a whole lot of money for flights the accommodation the venue would cost a lot of money we'd have to charge you an enormous well a fee to come and provide food 
and then I'd see you in off I'd go this way I get to talk to you now and then I get to talk to you once a week every week for the next four weeks which I've never been able to do before so it's a great way of doing it the whole idea is that you get onto the detox program I'm doing it with you so I know exactly what you're going through and Mark's with you as well and guys if you want to ask Mark any private questions you're welcome to email him mark at maryanns.co.za or mark at naturalway.co.za Actually, forget the Mary Ann's. Everybody always smells, spells it wrong. Just go mark at naturalway.co.za. Um, and so we'll, we're both able to help you. Um, and what we're going to be doing is basically coaching you through the program once a week. So if you've got any questions, you can email us at info at naturalway. Probably going to set up a WhatsApp group as well. So we'll be able to answer the questions on that WhatsApp group. Um, and that'll be, you know, if you kind of like, Oh, I'm absolutely desperate for Marmite. Can I have it? Then we'll answer the question. Just it can be arbitrary questions. Um, Laura may help me with that. And if she can't answer it, then she will refer it to me. So as I say, the whole idea of the detox is to make it easier for you. I've designed this program. I've designed it many, many years ago. And I've used it in specific instances with people to help them through a difficult time if they can't fast. Um, and they can't leave their family and go somewhere, then they're able to do this at home. And I designed it specifically so that you detox with minimal discomfort. Detoxification, what it does is speed up the healing process. So if you've got waste products in your body, let's say your lymphatic system is just clogged. You've eaten fried foods, you've been eating too much oil in your diet, you've just been eating too many fatty things. And even on a natural diet, you can eat too much oil. I know if I increase my, uh, my fat intake above a certain level, in a day, I get body odor. And it's like, I haven't had body odor in years, basically. The minute my fat content goes up, I get body odor. So I know my lymphatic system's needing a, a cleaner. If you ever get swollen glands, whether they're in your groin or in your armpits, under your armpits and the, the crease of your arm, if you have swollen glands or if you have sinusitis problems and pains in your face, they very often can show that your lymphatic nodes or, or nodules are actually glands. They're actually swollen and they're inflamed. So what going on this detox program does is help that lymphatic system clean itself out. Now your lymphatic system is designed specifically to transport fats and nutrients to the cell and transport waste products away. And very often the quickest way to get rid of those waste products is out your armpits. And that's where you get this strong odor. The interesting thing is that one armpit may smell stronger than the other or different. And your right hand lymphatic system only is your right arm up to just underneath your breast in that area and this side of the body, only the right side of the body, excluding your head. The left side does your whole left side, your head and your both your legs. So one area is just little. So you might find that your right armpit smells more strongly than your left arm. That's just a bit of physiological um, interesting information but it's interesting that as you clean up you might find a vinegary smell coming out of your armpits or you might find a, a smell of onions or a smell of all kinds of things if you somebody who eats animal fats you could find it's a very strong odor you could be quite overwhelmed by it and the first time that I did my first fast I fasted for 14 days and I think at about the sixth or seventh day I smelled so strongly I could actually not bear to be near myself it was quite awful um, and so you might find that, and one of the reasons I in, include a product, I've, I've worked very carefully to include specific products so that you don't go through the detox with terrible detox symptoms and feeling like you're starving and you're deprived. The whole idea is to do the detox and actually enjoy it. First two days are really tough, okay? They are tough because you're basically in a semi-fasted state, very low energy value. You're having what we call the... the uh, garden trio, you're having barley life, you're having just carrots and ready beets for breakfast, and then you basically have them throughout the day, and for lunch you're having a smoothie. And the reason I put those products in is that you, you have a ritual, a meal ritual to go through, you combine these things, but also because the barley life helps the endocrine system, which is a system that controls everything in your body, including your immune system. The, the um, just carrots is there so that you can actually make sure you're taking in enough um, beta carotene because beta carotene is very beneficial to the, um, your your um, your membranes your your membranes in the body and your tissues in the body so for example in your in your mouth membranes in your mouth in your lungs 
Uh, the areas that you detoxify in is usually the bladder, the bowels, the lungs. Uh, <clears throat> those are the main ones, basically. And the skin is another one. So when you're taking lots of beta carotene in from carrot juice, and we're using the dried carrot juice, otherwise you're going to stand there all day juicing your carrots. And that's entirely up to you. You can grow your own barley grass juice, you can grow your beets, you can grow your, your carrots, and you can stand and juice them. It'll give you something to do if you have nothing to do. But the reason for this is I don't want you to have this inflamed membranes in your mouth or your, your lungs start to detoxify and now you're coughing and you think you're getting some kind of flu. You might even think you've got corona at this point and you rush off to the doctor and he pumps you full of antibiotics because he doesn't know what you're going through. So I don't want you to go through that stuff and that's why I've in, encouraged you to use the, the Just Carrots so that your mucous membranes can actually be helped with the high levels of beta carotene. On the 30 day detox, your skin may go a yellow color. That's really good because it means you have natural protection against sunlight. So it's a fantastic way to, you go golden brown, you won't go red anymore because of the, the carotenoids that are coming in. So we, I want to make sure that your lungs are working efficiently and they can handle the mucus that you might cough out or the um, anything, any substance that shouldn't be in your body might come out through your lungs. And very often it's things like preservatives, maybe excess mucus, and your lungs need to be in the best possible condition. Um, and then, as I said, the, 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 the barley um, helps the endocrine system work efficiently, and that's the system that controls your immune function, your liver, your lungs, your skin. The worst thing is if you go on detox and you just start to break out all over your skin and you're getting pimples and weird things coming out, Taking the barley, you don't get that happening. It might happen very mildly, but it could happen very severely. And as much as I'm coaching you through the program, I don't have the time to, to, to deal with each of you every five minutes because there's 50 odd people that are going to be on this program. If I'm dealing with you every five minutes, I'm not going to have time to actually meet with everybody in a group. It's just not possible because your skin's breaking out and your lungs are feeling sore and, you're, you know, and then we deal with things like, you know, the, the beets, the re reason we, I insist on you having beets is because it raises your nitric oxide levels. Nitric oxide is something that actually helps to transport oxygen and it increases the um, R RNA, the uh, uh, nucleic acid. Now I'll think of it now. Hold on a second. Uh, it increases your oxygen levels in your cells. So your energy levels in your cells increase. So it's not increasing your energy levels in your bloodstream by increasing blood sugar not affecting your blood sugar at all, ATP, that's what I'm thinking about, adenosine triphosphate. It increases adenosine triphosphate in the cells. That's what the beets does. And what that does is it increases energy at cellular level, which means healing and repair takes place much faster than if you weren't having it. So people that use the product see incredible results on the program. They see healing that's incredibly fast because you've got this beet juice coming in, your adenosine triphosphate levels are going up, your ill phosphate at least, your, um, your energy in your cells are increased and so repair work can be done. And that's very important if you've had cancer, prone to cancer, you don't know that you've got cancer. I don't think any of you went to the doctor to say and said, said, please will you check my cancer cell count so I can check it afterwards to see if it's come down. Most people are under 30 if they don't have cancer. But once you go over a cancer cell count of 30, then they say you have cancer. And I've dealt with people with cancer cell counts over 2,000. And on a totally raw, this type of diet, it comes down to zero. So one of the reasons it happens is because you're taking in things like beets, which are very high, as I said, in um, nutrient levels that increase your nitric oxide levels. And that helps to increase that energy level. The reason we also need the energy at cellular level and not at blood sugar level at this point, because your blood sugar level, your energy can go up and it can come down. And we don't want that. We want it to help stabilize it. Nitric oxide gives you endurance energy. It's the kind of thing that can keep you going all day and you're technically not eating other than having these juices and the smoothie. So uh, it's a fantastic product from that point of view. You honestly feel like you can keep going and you can stay up later and you need less sleep, but it's not a hyped up energy at all. It's a very calm, very focused energy. And we need that for repair in the body. That's important. So if you go through a detox program and you're not taking in enough and making enough nitric oxide because you're not getting the right nutrients, you could just feel terrible all the time, like stumbling around in a stupor, just feeling tired and exhausted and in pain. That's what I'm trying to avoid by encouraging the products. Okay. 
So well, some of the other products that I encourage you to take is the um, pro peas. And the reason I encourage you to take that, it's about 90% protein. And you're going to put that into your smoothie. And that's going to give you plant protein with all the amino acids you need to keep your strength where it should be, to help your body repair. We need protein to make collagen in our body, for example. And collagen is involved in all the joints and uh, your muscles and your bones. And there's all these different types of collagen that are used in the skin, for example. So one of the reasons that you find that you actually kind of reverse the aging process on this detox program is that you are taking in good quality protein. There are some nuts and seeds on the program as well, but the pro peas is incredibly high. Your nuts and seeds, almonds and pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds are the highest at 30%. Um, that's their max, but pro peas is up to 90% protein. And there's nothing in it. Like if you take other protein powders made from cow's milk, it has cow's milk protein in it and things like casein and whey actually cause a lot of inflammation in the body. You can't detox on dairy products at all because there's inflammatory responses in the lungs and the bladder and everywhere else. Okay. Um, the other product that I insist that you take as well is herbal fiber blend. And there's a very good reason for that. Most people's problems have got problems with their digestive tracts on one level or another. They may have gas, they may have pain, they may have inflammation, they just got digestive discomfort. But most importantly on a detox program, I want to make sure that you're absorbing all the nutrients of the food and the juices that you're taking. And the only way I can make sure that you are absorbing absolutely every single nutrient you need is to put you on herbal fiber blend. Because what herbal fiber blend does, it removes old fecal matter that stops you absorbing your nutrients. Now I have, I have to tell you that I was on a totally natural diet. I'd already written, written the natural way for, and it was 10 years later after the book had come out. And somebody came up to me and shoved this bottle of herbal fiber blend into my hand and said, you've got to take this stuff. It's just amazing. It just does amazing things to the digestive tract and helps you eat less and gets rid of parasites. I had people always trying to sell me on something or other. And I was like, oh, please. Then I started reading up on it and I thought, well, this sounds interesting. But I said to them, look, I don't really need this stuff. I've been on a whole food plant-based diet for the last 10, 12 years at that point in my life. And most of my food is raw. My digestive tract is as clean as you can get it. So they said, well, maybe you can give it to somebody else to try. And I thought, well, I can't give this to somebody else to try. I've never tried it. That's like really hypocritical. I can't say try this out. Well, I sometimes did that with my daughter, Marie Claire, because she's always so daring. She'll try anything. <clears throat> she's, got, she's got less daring and she's got older. Anyway, when she was younger, she would try anything first time. So I took the herbal fiber blend. I also gave it to my husband as well. Let me just get retrace, re, go back a little bit here. Her, uh, old fecal matter, it collects in between the villi. The villi are little finger-like protrusions that wave around. And they don't, they're not big like my fingers. They're tiny, tiny, tiny. They wave around trying to increase, and they've got these little hairs on them, increase the surface area in your intestine so you can absorb all the nutrients, the possible nutrients, Okay. So the body is very well designed. It's not a smooth pipe that food goes down. It's, it's, it's more like taking a very fluffy towel and rolling it up in a tube like that. And then you look at it, it's got these tiny little finger-like things in there with little hairs on them. And if you flatten that all out, I mean, it's just enormous uh, surface area to help the absorption. But over the years of following a typical westernized diet and eating food that you're not naturally adapted to eat, processed food, maybe too much animal protein, too little vegetables and fruit, this old fecal matter can actually clog up and it can sit there and it can harden and it can stop you absorbing nutrients. So I thought, well, what do I have to lose? She said, I won't be hungry anymore. Now, I've been following a natural diet for a long time, but I still found that I was most days very hungry. I could eat 10 course meal and I'd still be hungry, which was how I'd been my whole life. As a kid, I couldn't stop eating potatoes. Nine, 10, 11 roast potatoes. <clears throat> I could eat Christmas dinner, I'd eat the, everything from the starters to the main course to the dessert and the mince pies and the ice cream and anything that was going, I'd lie on the floor with my zip undone. I'd change my clothing so I could feel more comfortable, but I was still hungry. I was always, always hungry. And I'd been dewormed several times on Vermox. Nothing changed for me. I was hungry. I was less hungry than I'd been, but I still had this thing where I was, oh, I feel like something. Oh, I feel like something. So I decided to take this stuff. I thought, well, let's see how good it is. I took one teaspoon. Now you can take the capsule version of it. 
or you can take the powder version. If you're going to take the powder, I recommend that you put it into something like grape juice or peak endurance, which is a grape juice to use as well, but to, to help you swallow it. And you need to swallow two glasses of water. So when I tell you take the herbal fiber blend and drink two glasses of water with those capsules, I mean drink two glasses because that's what you need to flush out this old fecal matter. So I duly did that. I had five or six bowel movements in one day. Now, in a busy day, the maximum I've ever had is three, and it's usually one that's bigger and two that are smaller. This was like five or six enormous ones from one teaspoon. I actually took a teaspoon of the stuff and stirred it in my glass of water to see if this would grow into like mountainous amounts of fecal matter, come, you know, a material because I thought maybe this stuff just kind of exploded inside you, but it didn't feel like it. It was very comfortable. And then it just got lesser and lesser and lesser after that. So now I can take herbal fiber blend. I don't have those five or six herbs because that old fecal matter is gone. And herbal fiber blend is not something you live on. You take it, you clean out your colon, that's the end of the day. You take it for the 30 days. I usually encourage people to finish taking it. And then you don't need it again. But you need to get that stuff out because for you to benefit from this detox program and benefit from all the amazing foods you're going to be eating, you need to make sure that there's no old fecal matter. So within that first three to five days, your colon's going to be pretty clean, good and clean and fresh, tra-la-la-la. I'm not going to try and sing that one. So that's why I encourage you to take the herbal fiber blend. I know I'm going through all these products, but I need to explain this to you because I don't want to sit with you crying and telling me, I got a bladder infection and my pee is burning me and I can't take it anymore. I'm going to go and take something. I'm going to go to the doctor. And that's the reason that I encourage you to take cranberry, which is dried cranberry juice. That's what it is. It's dried in powder form. So mostly when people buy cranberry juice, it's mixed with apple juice and so that it can sweeten, but you don't have much because cranberry juice is very sour. So with the cranberry juice, you're taking it so that you don't get a bladder infection. Now, why would you get a bladder infection? Because part of the detox program is for your kidneys and your liver to work harder than they, your kidneys especially and your bladder to work harder than they normally would. So you actually end up peeing quite a lot. Like you find that you have a lot of urine. You come up on my words, I mean, six times today already. I don't want you crying and sending me text messages saying, my, my urine is burning me. I've got a bladder infection. Please help me. The cranberry is going to stop you getting a bladder infection and that burning sensation. And if you do get it mildly, you just increase the cranberry to more than what I suggest you take. So it's to help you with that, to make sure. Um, the other thing that I recommend you take is glucochrome for a very good reason. When you're on a detox program, you're eating a lot less calorie value. And when you're not used to that, even though you're eating quantity of salads and fruit and stuff, when you're not used to that, your blood sugar could drop when you're not used to changing, especially when you're taking out things like caffeine, okay? You take caffeine out, blood, sugar can, blood pressure can drop terribly and you can have absolutely no energy. And that's the other reason why I encourage you to take the beet juice because your ready beet stabilizes your blood sugar, our blood pressure at least. It's amazing. Your blood pressure is high, it brings it down. If it's low, it helps to balance it. It's an amazing, amazing thing, beets. I hated beets until I found out all this good stuff about it. And now I have it every single day. And I eat roasted really a beetroot juice. And I have beetroot, carrot, apple, and ginger juice, which is very delicious. The reason I didn't put all the juices separately and you making all of them, it's a lot of work. And people are trying to do their work at the same time. And also to stand there juicing all day long and having to clean the juicer, it's a lot of work, okay? It's a lot of work. Right. So with the glucochrome, what it contains is gymnema sylvestra, bitter melon, it contains uh, chromium and it contains barley that's very high in chromium. And it, what it does is specifically help to balance your blood sugar and your appetite. So if you're eating a diet that's a lot of fruit and vegetables and you're not used to it on this detox program, the first two days, as I said, is a semi-fast. Then you're on raw food for the next seven days with nothing cooked. Your blood sugar may drop because your body's not used to this. If you're on glucochrome, I know your blood sugar is going to be where it should be. And you're not going to be saying, I'm dizzy, I fell over, I fainted. You need to take the product, okay? There isn't another product I know that will stabilize your blood sugar like that. It's the most amazing product. We have diabetics going on it and the doctors are able to reduce their medication and in many instances take them off it. It really helps the pancreas and the adrenal glands get the blood sugar to a perfect level. 
And then herbal release is the last product that I encourage you to take, and that will help your lymphatic system clean out efficiently. I don't want you sitting with swollen glands because you've got a glandular fever. Swollen glands just means your lymphatic glands are blocked because you are not... <clears throat> Uh, your, your lymphatic system is overloaded. What herbal release does is a combination of different herbs that helps that lymphatic system clean out more efficiently and stops things like swollen glands, okay? So all of this stuff is to help you not be miserable and actually feel okay. I don't want you emailing me and saying, I'm lying here and I'm on my bed and my urine's burning me and my skin is broken out and I can't get up because my blood pressure's on the floor. <clears throat> and I'm going to say to you, are you taking the products? So I don't want you on the program if you're not taking the products because I don't want to be dealing with somebody who's not coping. Okay, this is a tough program. As I said, those first two days are hard. You're going to get headaches if you're stopping caffeine, if you stop stopping your chocolates because you can't carry on with this. If your coffee, you can't have coffee, you can't have tea, you can't have chocolates. So no caffeine. Caffeine withdrawal symptoms are headaches, nausea, insomnia, irritability. If you're taking the products here at least, I know that you're getting everything you need for you to not get to a place where you can't cope. You may be a bit irritated. You may have the headache. The headache's bad. There's another product I recommend from the same company called Composure, and you can take a bottle a day. I was going through a bottle a day when I had shingles from a spider bite. I took, it was a half a bottle a day, and there are 120 capsules in the bottle. And I was taking them. I was, had shingles all the way down my leg from the spider bite. And it was literally three, three days on just, lying in bed drinking carrot juice, barley and beets, and just taking, um, just literally popping composures like they're Smarties, because what they do is a natural painkiller. It helps with headaches. I haven't included in here, but if you feel you need it. On this program, I encourage you to drink a lot of water, and headaches go usually if you drink a lot of water, okay? So before you eat anything, you drink water. Before you drink anything, you drink water. So before you even go and have your smoothie, you're going to have some water. You're going to drink quite a lot of water, and yes, you will be going to the bathroom quite a lot. Your urine initially might be like a bright orange color and a little bit luminous. You're not to take any vitamin supplements or any other supplements while you're on this. The things I'm giving you is dried herbs and dried juices, but no other supplements. When you stop, then your urine might initially be bright yellow and quite luminous. You'll find it goes paler and paler and paler as you go along. The darker your urine, the harder your kidneys are working. The lighter your urine, <clears throat> the easier your kidneys have got it, okay? You may get mild back pain in your lower, sort of just above your waist. You get a kind of dull ache there. If you're taking the cranberry and you're taking the barley, that will be very mild. If you're not taking it, it can be really, really painful, okay? Because the kidneys get overloaded and they're not, they're not used to working so hard or they've been working hard all your life. And so what the barley and the... Um, Herbal release, herbal fiber, all of these products actually help the kidneys to function more efficiently because they're part of the endocrine system. And the, half these products are helping the endocrine system work more efficiently. So if you do get an ache in the back, you can put a hot water bottle on there and get into bed if you can do it. But chances are it's going to be very, very mild, especially if you're drinking the water I tell you to do. So one of the people on the previous, um, one of the previous detox programs that we did, I wasn't on the program with him, but I was meeting with them once a week. Um, I got so envious of all the results that they were seeing. One guy lost 10 kilos, another woman 7 kilos. Their skin improves. It's a big thing. Within that first week, people are saying to you, what are you doing? You're looking incredible. What's going on with your face? Your skin's looking amazing. And that's the feedback we get from everybody. And the, partly that is the body life that does it, but the herbal release will help that. The carrots, of course, helps it with the mucous membranes and the skin. Um, so you find your skin responds beautifully to this, okay? Um, as I say, it's normal to get some discomfort, but it's going to be relatively mild if you are using the products. I don't want to risk you doing it without the products because it could be very uncomfortable and I don't want you crying, okay? If you find that this is too much and you're not up for doing two days fasting and seven days on raw and then from day... Uh, Day 10, you're allowed cooked food. And every day I'm basically telling you what you can eat. So now you can introduce some steamed veggies and then you can have a baked potato. And I tell you, when you've done the fast for the two days, raw food's never tasted so good. Man, you're in love with carrots, tomatoes are amazing, avocados. We don't limit the quantity of food you eat. 
except for things like nuts and seeds and the cooked food. But the raw fruit or vegetables, there's no limit, except the first two days we're limited. First two days, you're only allowed one smoothie, okay? And that's the tough part. You get through that, you're on, you're going to be in an amazing place. We really see amazing results from this. If you are on medication and you're nervous about it, speak to your doctor first. If your doctor wants to talk to me, I'm happy to talk to them. We're starting this program on the first it is, isn't it? The first, yes. So you need to all be ready by the first. We're meeting that evening. You'll be sent No, on the Marianne on the seventh. On the seventh, sorry, the seventh. Okay. We're starting it on the seventh. I'm sorry. It's this is Tuesday, I must be Belgium. This is the third no, this is the second Zoom meeting today. Yesterday I did three. So I'm having to think of the dates. Laura, thank you that you're here to remind me. Starting it on the seventh, eh? Monday the seventh, that's right. Laura? Yes, Monday the seventh. Monday the seventh and the time just to confirm it. 7.30 to 8.30 okay, p.m. GMT 2 plus 2. So that's South African time. South African time. What I want you to do, because I need you to be on these products, as I said, I don't want you crying. You need to let us know at info at natural way that you've got the products. You need to say, I have all the products. I'm ready to go. And then we'll send you the link. We need to know that you're all ready. So I know some of you are going to think, oh my word, I'm fasting. I'm going to eat everything I can. Peanut butter sandwiches, I'm going to eat those. And I'm, the thing I'm going to miss the most is our peanut butter on our gluten-free bread, okay? Because every day I have a slice. I have my lunch supper, I've got kind of a combined meal, and then I'll have a slice of our gluten-free bread with our peanut butter on. It's too delicious for words. And I said to Mark yesterday, we're going to miss our peanut butter and our slice of bread more than anything else. Um, we just got that bread perfectly where it's like bouncy and it's gluten-free and it doesn't taste like a scone or a cake or a, a rusk. It tastes like proper bread. Um, anyway, so you can all look forward to that. You can have it this week or when you're finished, okay? When you come off the detox, you can have that stuff. Um, what else is there to tell you? There is exercise that I was telling you. One of the women on the program, we spoke to her and I said, have you started the exercise program? And she said, hmm... I've been thinking about it a lot the last week. I haven't thought of exercise for a long time, but for the last week I've been thinking about it. And I said, listen, if you're going to benefit from this program, you have to do the exercise. And all we're asking you to do is walk, okay? If you're nervous of walking out your property, then walk up and down in your garden or your complex that you are for the time that you're told to walk. You, you have to walk outside. So if it's raining, get your umbrella and your gum boots. If it's snowing, Put your coat on and dress warmly, but you need to go outside with no glasses covering your eyes. If you wear lenses to be able to see so you can walk, then put them on the edge of your nose like this and look down when you're walking. The reason for that is so that you expose your eyes to natural light. It doesn't have to be sunlight, just natural light, even overcast, gives you a lot more what's called lumens, which means the UV rays are a lot higher. And you may say, but they're bad for you. No, they're actually good for you. UV rays actually convert cholesterol in your skin, which your liver makes and puts there. If you've got it. Pardon? Babe. Oh, oh, somebody's talking in the background. Just mute. I can hear you calling your husband. Um, okay. So what we do is we make cholesterol. It's transported to the skin when you're getting natural omega-3s in your, in your diet. And then it converts that cholesterol into vitamin D, which gives you healthy bones. It also does a whole lot of other things. Sunlight helps your pineal gland to work properly. Your pineal, pineal gland regulates things like happiness and sleep. So <clears throat> your pineal gland makes serotonin, which makes you happy, and it regulates melatonin at night, and that helps you sleep. So one of the things you do find, everybody on this detox program, follow the instructions to the letter, please. Your sleep will improve dramatically. Every single person that says, oh my word, I'm sleeping. This is the best sleep I've ever had. We've got a woman in the UK the other day. She's on day nine and she says, my back pain that I've had for years that nobody can find what's wrong with it has just suddenly gone. She said, I keep looking behind me to see if it's there, which made me laugh. But she said, I, I just, and her whole face was so different. And I could understand partly it was because of the antioxidants and the foods and the, and the products she's taking. But the other part is that without pain, there's a lightness about you, but if you're in pain all day long, that's one of the things that you find just clears up on the program, okay? So 
uh, uh, follow the instructions. When I say go outside and you need to exercise for X amount of time, you need to go outside and do it. Take your dog, take your next door neighbor, take your whole family with you, walk up and down, as I say, in your complex, but go outside, not to the gym, outside in natural light, because it's the natural light that regulates your mood and your sleep. When you're in a gym, that light is not, not enough. You just, you, you never, people today have such huge issues with sleep, huge, huge issues. The one girl was saying last night, she said, I haven't slept properly in years, and I'm having the best sleep I've ever had in my entire life. It's so exciting to watch people on this program. As I say, I just wanted to join people, somebody, and Mark was listening to the story. He said, come on, let's do it. It's September, it's change of seasons, let's go for it. So I'm very excited if you all come along with for the ride. You're going to, you're going to not regret it at all. As I said, the first two days are tough, okay? But we'll be in the WhatsApp group and we'll be encouraging you and say, don't give up. And then you'll get to day three and you've got this whole variety of things to eat and you're going to be absolutely fine. Okay. So have you got any questions and have I left anything else, Laura? Any questions? I'm going to go to the No, chat. that's fine. Um, there have been a few questions that have popped up. I have, um, I have been answering some of the questions um, from people who've been asking about ordering. I've just been messaging them. So if you see okay. a message from me, um, it's it's uh, legit if I've private messaged you just to answer you. All right, I'm looking at the questions here. It says, what can we expect? Oh, hold on, here we go. Beats lower my blood pressure horribly, okay? So if you're taking them, take less in your combination. Uh, it shouldn't, I take beets every day and my blood pressure is 90 over 60 all the time. And it was like that before I took beets and it's like that afterwards. The doctor says I'll never have a heart problem. All right, so let me go all the way up here. What's the main reason for struggling to lose weight? Eating a healthy diet, lots of fruit and salads. The main reason for not losing weight could be you're not getting enough natural light so that pineal gland doesn't work properly, you don't sleep properly, and then your thyroid gland doesn't work properly. Could be that you might have gluten in your diet. Gluten is a substance, it's a protein that tends to make the body attack itself and the thyroid seems to attack itself and not produce the hormones that it should, so your metabolism slows down. You could be not losing weight because you've got old fecal matter and you've never done a, a digestive tract cleanse with something like herbal fiber blend, which will help you absorb nutrients better. You could find that your hormonal system is not working properly, maybe because you were on artificial sweeteners previously in your previous life, or you've been on a high protein diet in the past. That can take two to eight years to sort out. A 30 day detox won't sort it out, but it'll get you on the way quicker. And then I recommend that you do the 30-day detox every three months. So three months off, one month on, three months off, one month on. Um, and then you do that regularly. And then you also try and do some fasting. You may not be doing enough exercise. You don't benefit from exercise if you're not doing 20 minutes or more. And that exercise needs to be brisk. You need to get your heart rate up and you need to perspire a bit. You need to exercise outdoors, okay? You may not be losing weight because you may have something with caffeine and a lot of people think that green tea is very healthy for them and they think that it's fine to have raw cacao and it's great to have curana in supplements. These things are high in caffeine. It, caffeine affects the endocrine system. That's the hormonal system. It's the system that controls your body weight. So what I'm going to do is you are getting a copy of Perfect Weight, that's the book that you're getting. Perfect Weight with this program. That entire book, you're getting a free copy of that. It will be emailed to you once you've shown us that you've got the products because as I said, I don't want to deal with people who are struggling, okay? It's not fair on the other people because you're going to be flopping around and, and, and needing a lot of attention. So if you're committed, let's go for it. Once you've signed up, once you've, um, you've sent us the proof that you've got the products, just to say, I've got the products, this is what I've got. Um, we will then send you a copy, a PDF copy of Perfect Weight, The Natural Way, which is all about the endocrine system. A whole book is about endocrine system. And I labeled it weight because it's always the one thing that everybody's always asking about, what about the weight thing? One lady that went on the 30-day 30 30 detox, she has struggled... Uh, for a long time to lose weight. And she lost seven kilograms in the program. Now, not everybody loses that. Some people will use, lose two. And they'll say, why am I not losing more weight? Because your endocrine system takes time to correct. If you've been on the contraceptive pill 
or you've been on hormone replacement therapy or high protein diets or artificial sweeteners. If you've used artificial sweeteners like candorol, which contain aspartame, that can really mess up your endocrine system. So no artificial sweeteners on this program whatsoever. And in fact, you should never touch them again in your life. If you're going to use a sweetener, let it be something natural like raw honey or date syrup or brown rice syrup. If you're going to bake a little bit of fructose, it doesn't upset the endocrine system because it doesn't upset the blood sugar, okay? So it's important that you, there are various reasons, but as we go through the program, we will be dealing with some of those. Um, you, of course, on this program, there's no gluten, there's no caffeine, there's all the things that upset your endocrine system. Alcohol can upset it. Refined sugar can upset it. So you find when you're eating a natural, pure diet, the way we end the detox is basically how Mark and I live. We're eating mainly raw during the day with one cooked meal a day. You don't have to stay at that point. You can go back to an in-between program, but I will help you make that transition. I will be talking to you and I'll help you make that transition onto either stay where you are at the end or you want to eat some animal products. I'll say to you, include them not more than three times a week and not bigger than the size of the palm of your hand. You may say, but can I go back to coffee? Well, that's your choice. I'd say once you're off it, stay off it. It's a drug that affects your central nervous system. And just today I posted on Facebook, I shared it from the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. I've known for years in the research I've done that caffeine causes genetic mutations, that it can interfere with endocrine function. The only thing that caffeine's good for is if you're having an asthma attack, then drink strong black coffee. And if you don't have your medicine with you, it helps to open the lungs. It's actually a medicine. It should be used in emergencies. The Aztecs and the Incas used caffeine to hype them up and make them aggressive for war and keep them awake all night. So they would chew the coffee beans or the cocoa beans, and then they would get in, paint their faces with their war paint and go off to war. They'd be able to stay up for days on end, and they'd have to be pumping adrenaline. So really what you're doing when you're drinking coffee is preparing your body for war. So it creates tremendous stress in the body, okay? Normal tea, green tea also contains caffeine, okay? So those are the things that you can't have on this program. You can only eat what's on the program. You can only drink what's on the program. So when I say apple juice, 100% pure, there can't be anything else added to it. Chances are you may have to do freshly extracted. Otherwise, you can get 100% pure juices that are available at some stores, okay? So um, going back to the questions, weight, okay. Marianne? I'm running every day, yeah. yes. Just, uh, you missed the first one there. Can you do a detox while breastfeeding? Can you do a detox while breastfeeding? Uh, depends on how early you are in the stages of breastfeeding. I wouldn't do it within the first three to six months of breastfeeding, but once you pass that and the baby started eating solids, you can do it. I... Uh, depends on your background. I'd like you to just email me. It depends on what your diet's like. If your diet's pretty healthy and you're doing this just to kind of reset your body after having the baby, then it's not going to be a problem. But if you've been on a lot of artificial sweeteners and you're drinking lots of coffee, I'm assuming if you're breastfeeding, your diet's pretty good. So you should be okay. But just email me at info at natural way and I need some background on what you've been eating and why you're wanting to detox right now just to reset your body after the baby and what your diet's like, okay? All right, I'm running every day. How does it affect my energy levels? Can I still run more or less 19 kilometers a day? You might struggle a bit on the first two days if you're not used to being on such a low calorie diet. I would reduce your amounts of kilometers, but you, you might actually find you feel absolutely amazing and you're taking off like a rocket because your lungs are clearing. The first week you might struggle, but after that first week, 10 days by, the, by day 10 you'll start feeling your energy levels go up tremendously and then you should be absolutely fine athletes very often go on to the the day 9 to uh, day 10 to day 30 program because they actually find it increases their en energy phenomenally so you may just find the first two days your calorie value is very low and there's not enough energy value and I don't think that you should be doing that amount of distance on the first two days but I say that and Dr. Andre Kruger believes that any athlete can exercise as much as they want when they're fasting. That means they're not eating anything. He's a doctor at Huachlan Hydro. And he climbs mountains on his day six of a fast and because I've been behind him and I can't keep up with him. So you do find your energy levels may increase. You're going to have to monitor that yourself. All right. What do I do about the supplements and meds that we are currently on? Example, Omega's, Eutrox, Berberine. 
I'm not sure what medication that you're on. You, are you, uh, you Thyrox is for the thyroid medication. I would say if you're on thyroid medication at this point on the detox, you can't go off it. I would say omegas, you must go off. That's from fish oil usually, unless it's a flax oil supplement. But on the detox, you're not taking any. When you're off the detox, I recommend you taking omega-3s from flax oil, not from fish oil. Fish oil is highly processed, highly heated. It's rancid. Fish oil, fish oil goes rancid in the fish two hours after the fish dies. The oil doesn't come out of the fish flesh. It comes out of the skin and the insides, the liver and the lungs and the eyes and everything else. And it's processed out with high temperature and lots of chemicals. I wouldn't use fish oil ever again. I don't know what the other products are. I don't know the berberine. But if you email me what you're on, Gail, I will take a look at that and I'll tell you what you can stay on and what you can stop. Will this detox reset your thyroid as well or help with your thyroid? It will absolutely help with your thyroid. It's up to you whether you stay on your medication or not. I have helped my mother come off thyroid medication, but I did it very slowly. The problem with just stopping thyroid meds is that your thyroid's used to not making any altroxin, which is um, altroxin, thyroxin, which is what it's supposed to it needs to make T3 and T4. So I recommend that if you're on thyroid medication, you're wanting to get off it, that you find a doctor that's prepared to work with you and people that have studied, doctors that have studied integrative medicine will do that. It's up to you. It's your call. It's your body. But what I did with my mom is I weaned her off. So she was taking, I can't remember, 100 milligrams or whatever it was at the time. And then the next batch was lower than that. And then the next one after that, I'd, I'd give it to her every second day then for a week and then every third day for a week and then every fourth. It took about six or seven months to wean her off. But she'd been on it for 20-odd years. So when she was in her 60s, she was tired. And the doctor said, you need... You need uh, Thyroxin, you've got to go on to, or altroxin at least. You need altroxin and she had to go on to it because she was tired. And yet all it did was make her lose an enormous amount of weight. She just kept losing it, speeding up her metabolism. And I remember saying to the doctor, this doesn't look right. She's losing weight. She doesn't look like she's an underactive thyroid. It looks overactive to me. Anyway, we got her off. And finally, when she's off, her body adjusted. Um, the doctor will tell you when you stop it. Um, Altroxin or any other medicine for thyroid that you, your heart could be under pressure and you could have a heart attack. That's what some doctors may tell you. It's up to you. You need to do the research. It's a decision only you can make. If it's something you want to come off, I do recommend that you find, as I say, a doctor who studies integrative medicine and can put you onto something naturally. I have seen the thyroid re start functioning fully, but it takes time. It cannot function fully if you remove parts of it or you remove the entire thyroid, okay? Then you have to be on thyroid medication for life. But you can detox while you're on thyroid medication. That's absolutely something you could do. So beets lower my blood pressure horribly. I'd say if you can't manage the beets at all, you could leave it out. I'm just concerned because what the beets do is that they regulate they increase your ATP and keep your energy levels up in your cells. And I'm concerned that if you don't take it on the detox program, that you may not have your ATP levels at such high rates. But you're going to have to experiment there with yourself. Don't take it if you find that's the case. It's the one thing I would say if that's what it does. But try it in smaller quantities and see how you do smaller quantities more frequently throughout the day. Taking large quantities of beets could do that, but if you took half a teaspoon two or three times a day, it won't be an issue. Could I give a herbal fiber blend to my five-year-old daughter? Yes, you can. I've given it to my grandson. When he was had upset stomach or if he was constipated, he was very gluten intolerant, and he would go out to a friend and then eat something with gluten in it and then tell me that he couldn't go to the toilet and his stomach was sore, and you'd give him herbal biofiber blend. Literally from the age of three when he could swallow it. Some kids won't swallow it. They don't like the taste, so you can give them a capsule. So you can basically give a child herbal fiber blend when they can swallow the capsule. Most kids can do it at age three. It does help with parasites as well. So it's not a bad thing to do. I would give the children's doses always less. So I would give her one capsule a day as opposed to two or three. And then follow that with two glasses of water. All right, even with a child. Can we... What can we expect after the 30-day detox? For example, in terms of what product would you recommend we continue with going forward? Okay, what I, what I recommend that you take going forward 
is that if you can, you take the barley, the beets, the carrots, and then you will introduce a meager. If you can't manage that financially, the least you should be in is barley life and a meager. Those are the two things I tell everybody to take. You keep herbal fiber blend in your first aid kit for food poisoning, for constipation, any tummy problems, sore tummies, nausea, that's what you keep herbal fiber. Herbal release, I recommend that you do that two or three times a year um, when you do a detox. Uh, glucochrome, if you have blood sugar issues and you are pre-diabetic, and even type 2 diabetics do very well, and I know type 1s that take it and do incredibly well. Cranberry you take if you ever have a bladder infection. That's when your urine burns, like you're peeing acid. Herbal release, as I mentioned. Um, pro peas you can keep using in your smoothies. It's delicious. But the least you will be taking is your barley and your omega. That's the one thing you're going to introduce is your omega to make sure you're getting your essential fatty acids, okay? Um, but the things that I would stop taking is herbal fiber blend, glucochrome, unless you've got a blood sugar disorder, cranberry, and um, herbal release. All right. What can you expect? As I say, Marianne. don't go back. I'll answer you now. Don't go back to your old way of eating. Try and keep it at a moderate level. We, what you, the, the last couple of weeks, that food that you're eating, the way you're eating, that that forms at least 80% of your diet. Laura, yes. Sorry, just going back to your previous question, I know um, a lot of people who come off the detox, they still, um, and they go on for the 100 days, they then continue with their herbal fiber blend because there is more than enough left over. So okay. um, that actually carries there. Few, I know there are a few things, um, the garden trio and the herbal fiber blend will last you beyond the detox. Yeah. So there'll be, there'll be leftovers of that. So you can finish your herbal fiber blend. I, I do recommend for a lot of people is to get onto the 100 days to help. Your diet at that point will be way ahead where the 100 days to help people are starting. But the 100 days to help, what it does for you, it, it gives you a track to walk on and live in and that's how you eat. And if you go off track, you get straight back onto it. It's very clear boundaries. But while you're on it, you're getting recipes. You, you get recipes on this program too, but you get a lot more recipes on the 100 days. You're getting inspiration. You're getting motivation. You're getting education. You get a lot of education on it in small sound bites. So little bits of information every day, everything about your adrenal glands or about um, your endocrine system or about preservatives in food or about why it's better to eat carbohydrates and light than protein because you sleep better, because it raises your serotonin levels. So you'll be reading a section of a book on the 100 days, and it's an educational program. And then you're on a track, and that's basically how you live. You'll find your balance. Some people will say, I want to live in raw food. Others will say, no, I want an 80% raw food diet, which is where most people should be. But I'm going to eat a bit of chicken or fish, and it's going to be organic. Some people are going to say, this is what I'm going vegan. Others are going to say, I'm going to be vegetarian and eat a couple of eggs. But you'll find the balance because you've got your five steps that are giving you the way to walk on. You've got the recipe. You've got this community that you're in. You're in this community. You're going to go into the 100 days. You'll be in another community. And that's what I love about what we're doing on Zoom is that all of this is bringing you a community around you so that you've got a support system, not only from us, but from the people you're going to meet and and communicate with and share you're going to be sharing your recipes and oh gosh look what i made this is what my smoothies look so delicious i've never tasted anything so delicious because i haven't eaten anything other than juices all day so you just you just become really good friends with the people that you're involved in and you could end up socially to socializing together going on holiday together you might even marry somebody you meet in this group who knows so yes the 100 days is a great program to go on and you will have the barley, you'll have the herbal fiber blend. You don't have to take it on the 100 days because you've taken it for at least a month. It's great if you want to finish it, but it's a great thing you can keep, as I said, in your first aid kit for when you need it. Otherwise, you're taking your barley, and then you can use your pro peas on that as well, and your carrots and your beets. You just finish them. I take carrots, beets, barley, amiga every day and use the pro peas in my smoothies. That's what Mark and I do. And then we take para 90 to get rid of parasites once or twice a year. There are things we do. What I'm working on is a program that's called My Year of Health that actually marks out a whole year on when to do your detox programs, when to do this, when do you do the para 90, um, and so that you've got a program and it's also seasonal. So that's what I'm working on. I have been working on it for quite some time. All I need to do is find more time. 
All right. Um, is fibroblade safe for someone with ulcerative keratic colitis? For Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, most people are safe with it. If you're nervous, because some people feel that there's a little bit, it's got a bit of a spicy taste, but it's very gentle. It's water-soluble fiber, but it's quite a strong flavor. It depends on how bad your ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease is. Then I recommend that instead of herbal fiber blend, you take fit and fiber. It's from the same company. And for that, you take fit and fiber. It's very gentle. It's got a lovely, delicious peach taste. It's very, uh, it's way more gentle than this. This is not rough. It's good stuff. But if you're nervous, fit and fiber would be a better option. Well, who do we order the detox from? You order the detox pack from AIM. And you make sure that you get hold of us, info at natural way, because to order it directly from AIM, you need somebody's number. So we've got numbers we can give you. We do give you one of the numbers and you order with it using that number and then you get your own number. You become a member yourself. It really just entitles you to the wholesale price. Laura, do you have the amount of money you save buying this at the, as a member price as opposed to being retail? I know you've worked it out. I think it's um, in South African rand, it's six nine six hundred and ninety five rand. So it's nearly seven hundred um, rand I have done saving. Yeah, you've yeah. done it. And then the UK it's several it's tens of, of pounds. I think it was like sixty pounds or something. No, it could have probably thirty pounds. Probably close to thirty pounds that you um, save. Maybe you'll have a look there and tell I'll us. I'll tell you now. A lot of money doing um, it in Bay, yeah. Okay, it's 140, um, wait, hold on. It's um, 42 pounds that you're saving um, if you're doing it from the United Kingdom. If you're paying in the USA, it's 91 US dollars. In Canada, you're saving 101 Canadian dollars. Okay, so it's an enormous amount of money you're saving and that is the best way for you to do it. Um, and, and then you remember, you can buy forever at the wholesale price wherever you are. If you're in Europe or the UK or in America, any English-speaking country, you're going to get it. And even in other European countries, you can get it. Um, how do we get products in Europe? You email us at info at naturalway.co.za. Let me just put this in here. Um, info at naturalway, and we'll send you all the details you need to order this in another country. But we, they do deliver in Europe from the UK, naturalway.co.za. Um, okay, email us there with yeah. information once you've bought it and email us there if you need to know how to get contacted and how to get it online. We'll send you the links. You can go online. You can get the stuff. It gets posted directly to you. If you had to buy it from me online, you end up paying seven, nearly 700 rand more. So rather buy it directly from them, that means you wholesale for the rest of your life. Really, they're great. The, 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 I've been using these products for 20 years. It's not my company. I wish it was. Very reluctantly, for eight years, people try to grab, drag me kicking and screaming. It was the herbal fiber blend that I took first that gave me a big fright because I thought my colon was clean. And then I said, fine, I'll try the barley lye. And that, for me... I still used to get a bit of a mid-afternoon slump where I felt a bit tired, but taking body life took that away completely. And then I do find my skin responds incredibly well to it. Um, you know, what you find is that it actually uh, helps with anything. I mean, aging, it slows it down, it improves your eyesight, body life, and just carrots is fantastic for your eyesight. Initially, when you're detoxing and your lymphatic system's cleaning out, you might find your eyes go, I'm just going to, cover a little bit more of the detox symptoms. You might find your eyes get the sort of milky film over them in that first week. And don't get scared and rub your eyes and try and see. That's the lymphatic system cleaning out. The lymph, lymph fluid flows over your eyes because you can't have blood vessels going across your pupil, but you can have lymph fluid. And what lymph fluid does is when it's clean, your eyesight's great. And when it's not clean, you could actually not see that well. So quite a few, there was somebody on the last detox program who said her eyesight had improved being on the detox program, which is very, it's a common thing because the lymphatic system cleans out, but also because you're taking large quantities of natural carotenoids. Those carotenoids, like in body life, contain zeaxanthine xanthine, and lutein, which any optometrist would tell you if you've got eyesight problems or you're trying to protect your eyes or you're trying to reverse 
disease in the eyes or slow it down, degenerative eye disease, that you need to make sure you're getting enough lutein and zeaxanthine. And to do that, you need dark green leafy vegetables. But the foods that contain the most of it is not things like spinach, which does contain it, is actually sprouted grains like wheat grass juice and barley grass juice. I recommend barley grass juice because it's twice as nutritious as wheat grass juice. You can grow your own barley grass juice and grind it up every day. <laughs> you need a lot to make a glass of barley grass juice. I, t I recommend Barley Life because it's grown in Canada. The most nutritious ones are grown above the, what they call the 33rd parallel or below it. So either in New Zealand or Canada and Barley Life is grown in Canada. And they harvest at night because that way you get the least damage to the antioxidants in the plants as they get cut. They're at a specific height. It's like 15 centimeters when they're the most nutritious. And then they extract the juice from that in the actual harvesting machine and chill it in that machine. It's quite phenomenal what they do. You can actually watch it online. And then they take that and spray dry it at room temperature. So the nutrients are very intact. And then they put a little bit of brown rice dextrin with it to stabilize it so it won't oxidize. So it can last in that bottle on a shelf for a year or two. So that's the reasons that I recommend that. Um, right. I've got somebody who's... Okay. Will the start of the program be on Tuesday, the 8th of September in the morning? Um, we will be starting. Yes, it'll be on Tuesday, the 8th, because we'll, we were actually going to start on the Monday, on the Monday, the 7th. That's when we were going to start. So you will start on that first day. When I speak to you at night, you're going to tell me that you have got a headache or you're feeling terrible. I want to hear and get feedback to you and encourage you. And that's why I want you to do it on that first day with me. So I'll be in the same place as you. I'll probably be sipping my barley, my just carrots and my ready beets for supper, making it last really long. Um, so then we were ready in day one. And then I'm encouraging you in the middle of those two days, because if we, if I encourage you before, it's very easy, you gung ho. And now you get halfway through, you need my encouragement so we will start on Monday the 7th in the morning and I will talk to you that evening and then you will have the second day and then you'll be eating after that. You'll be wonderful and you'll be in a great place, okay? Here's the thing with the lady that asked about the breastfeeding. If you're nervous to do this, I suggest that you skip the, the fast, semi-fasting days and you go straight on to day, um, you'll go on to day three, and so you'll be on the raw food. So you can just do the day three to day nine, but except what you'll be doing is nine days, full days. So instead of two days semi-fasting and seven days on raw, you'll be nine days on raw food. So you could manage that very well breastfeeding. And you, all you need to do is increase the quantities of food when you're breastfeeding. Same for the guy that's running. You increase the quantity of your food. So if you're eating avocados, you will increase that, for example. You will eat more bananas because bananas will help you run that distance. If you're nervous of doing the two, if you're entering competitions and you need to keep the training up and you can't reduce it for those two days, or you're nervous of doing the 19 kilometers on the semi-fasting day, then go straight on to the raw food day. You might not benefit as much, but I think just to be safe rather than sorry, just start on raw food. So you go straight to day three and you do that for nine days. Okay. Um, right, starting on Monday Yes, when you wake up on Monday the 7th, that's when you're starting, okay? Can we carry our, taking our vitamin D and B12 supplement pills and flaxseed capsules? I would stop all of those products. You need to get vitamin D by going outside. It's more natural. Vitamin D, when you take it in tablet form, can cause damage to the liver. If you start feeling nauseous on it, it could be from the vitamin D. Um, your B12... You don't need to take it. B12 is stored in the body for up to eight years. So you don't need to take vitamin B12 every single day. You also need to just allow the digestive tract to start. On those two days of fasting, your digestive tract can start making vitamin B12. Um, but you don't need it. You're not going to suffer a deficiency in 30 days from B12. If the B12 you're taking is being properly used by the body, you should be able to last it for several years. Your vitamin B12 will will correct itself if you're staying away from things like raw onion, raw garlic, and antibiotics. Onion, garlic, and antibiotics destroy friendly and bad bacteria. So if you're going to eat onion and garlic, wait until you're having some cooked food. While you're on detox, I actually 
prefer you to stay away from onion and garlic because it can cause a lot of water retention in some people. Initially talking of water retention, you might be peeing quite a lot and lose quite a bit of weight in those first two days and you're quite surprised. A lot of that can be water retention. This helps to correct things like water retention as well. All right. Also, some of the UK products have different names to the ZA products. Are they exactly the same? They are exactly the same if you're buying them from AIM. What you won't get in the UK is you will not get a herbal release. And so instead of that, we recommend composure and you will not get a herbal fiber blend. And the reason for that is the UK is very sticky about one of the herbs in those two products. They contain the same herb in the one product. Um, but if you take composure, they have it. And composure really, really helps with headaches and will help you with good quality sleep. You can add that to your existing parcel if you feel you're going to need it, because you can take that whenever you feel you need it. Otherwise, you take it as recommended with the herbal release, and you'll take fit and fiber instead of herbal fiber blend. So it's two products. I'll just put it over here. Uh, it's fit and fiber in place of herbal fiber blend, that's what HFF stands for, uh, fit and fiber, and then you're gonna take composure, composure instead of herbal release. Release, okay, great. Because that will help with the lymphatic system as well, but it also helps with headaches. If you decide you want to swap it, you can do that even in South Africa. Herbal release just does, is very more efficient at cleaning out the lymphatic system. But if you'd prefer a gentler approach, maybe the lady that's breastfeeding would prefer the composure. Composure makes you relax a lot. A lot of moms that struggle to let down their milk when they're feeding, we encourage them to take herbal fiber, um, sorry, composure, because it helps them relax and stop over-processing and stop worrying. If you're a stressed person, taking composure is a great product for that. Always call it mother's little helpers, but it has no side effects. Children can take it, old people can take it, breastfeeding can take it, you're pregnant, you can take it. It's completely safe. Any other questions that we have? Um, right. Basically, I think then we're done. If we have no more questions, anybody want to talk to me directly? Um, otherwise, I will say flake flake my stories eight. So here, let's go over this again. You're going to email us at info at natural way to make sure that you know where to get the products from. Just tell us where you live and we'll give you the link or we'll give you a contact person's name if you need to phone the office near you. We'll give you both a link and a person contact at the AIM office. Um, you need to send through to tell us that you're on the products. And I need you to be on the products because, as I said, I don't want you crying because you've got burning urine or lungs that aren't coping with the things you're coughing out and you can cough some horrible things out. I need to know that you've got this framework that can help support you to make sure that you're getting enough nutrients as well. Um, once you let me know that you have got the products and I know you're going to be safe, I'm going to send you the program. And I will also send you... Um, or say we will send you, I'm not usually the one sending it, but I will also send you a copy of Perfect Weight, The Natural Way, which is a book that has been out of print for a couple of years. I'm, a, I'm just busy updating it. Um, it's not out of date, but I just need to make sure that there are other things I can add to that. But I'll send it to you and you will use that and we will read specific sections of it. I may only send it to you when we're past day one and day two, actually. Anyway, I'll think about it. I want to make sure that you don't just sit down and read the whole book. I want you to read a specific chapter as we go through it. So I'm going to say read this chapter for this week and then read that chapter for that week. So I'll probably send that on the day we start. I'll send that to you and I'll tell you what you need to read. So you'll have some reading homework to do. I'm very excited for you. I really am. I know that this is going to be start a turnaround for you uh, and a total resetting of your health. And a starting place, you're going to look back and say that was one of the best things I ever did. Previously, what we used to do, and I've done, done this once, is we would go and stay at a house right on the beach here, at my friend Jeanette Loring's house. It's a guest house. 
and we would stay there and Mark and I would stay with you in the house. We'd go for walks with you and be exercising. We'd be cooking together. We'd be going to the program. And that's great, but it's very expensive to do that because we have to rent the house out and you're paying for my time to be with you seven days a week and we need to buy all the food. And so it works out a lot more cost effective like this. Um, so this is kind of a bit like doing the detox with Mark and I. We're kind of holding your hand. Laura's going to be there as well. I've asked her to help me. And uh, Mark will be there as well. So you've got WhatsApp group. We need to, you will email us your telephone numbers so we can put you in the WhatsApp group. You will email us your email address so that we can communicate efficiently with you there. And then you will let us know that you've got the product so that I can send you the link. And then I will send you on the day that we start or the next day, the perfect weight book with chapters to read at certain sections. Okay, you all, what do I say here, capiche? <laughs> you understand? You got it clear? Um, another couple of things have come in here. Is it safe to do the program if I have thrombosis? There's no reason for you to have any problems with thrombosis. Um, you will actually, it will actually improve considerably. It will be a Facebook group, not WhatsApp, Laura. Okay, sorry about that. So we'll be on that. Thank you, Marianne, that's Yvette. Will you be sending us the recording of the meeting? I'm sure we can manage that if it's worked out well. Sometimes the signal goes, but I will speak to Mark and Laura. They are the technical advisors in this instance. I can talk to your nutrition. I'm not great with the technical stuff. I know how to click on and off and... Uh, not too bad. I'm learning. I'm learning. Every day is a learning curve for me. Uh, what if we're not on Facebook? Then we're going to have to do the WhatsApp group, Laura. Send us your number and your email address, and we'll make sure that we are communicating with you on a regular basis. Uh, I also need the recording, please, as I came in very late. All right. So what you need to do is, because this all disappears when we go away, you need to email us at info at natural way. Dot co dot za and then we can communicate with you efficiently and you can let us know what you need but we're here to help you we're looking forward to dramatic changes in your lives and um, i'm excited i really am for you I, I have a mission to make the whole world well and you doing this is helping to make the whole world well because if you get well you're going to influence people around you they're going to want to be well we had one couple do this program they looked, lost so much weight and looked so amazing, both of them, and they just were like on this high that they got 15 other people to come and do the next detox program that Laura was working with. So it was very, very exciting to see that. And honestly, if you have 15 people to do it next time around, that's fantastic. Let's get everybody healthy because then they'll think properly and we'll be living in a better world. If everybody thinks rationally in this world and that comes by feeding your body properly, then your brain works. The most amazing thing you'll have a crystal clear brain you'll be focused you'll be you'll be you'll think clearly it's amazing you just think clearly all the time it's the most incredible thing i'm very excited about this really am thank you everybody info at natural way mark's added that mark will be in touch with you make sure you email us so that we can communicate with you efficiently good luck and see you next week monday this is exciting i'm going to say good night um, let me just thank you to all for joining not next week Monday the week after sorry not next week Monday the, the week yeah. after the 7th yes I need to be reminded so yes thank you for that I will be seeing you in the meantime communicate with us on email we're giving you the time to make sure you have the products you've got the program with you so that you know you've got the fresh fruits and vegetables and you've got all the things that you need in your house to get going and uh, in the 30 days that you're on this program, you're going to save all the money that you would have spent on other food that's not good for you and stuff that's not good for you. So think of it that way. You're just redirecting your money in another direction in case you're worried about costs. You're going to be saving an enormous amount of medical bills like we did. Um, and as I say, if you're nervous, let us know. And um, I recommend you get in touch with a doctor who's done integrative medicine. Right. Exciting. Are you all ready? You're looking like you don't want to go home. Are you ready? Put thumbs up. Wave. This is it, guys. You're not playing games anymore. This is the beginning. 
very excited about it. All right, thank you very much. I'm going to say goodbye.